Here we're going to see a couple more examples of multiple equations and multiple unknowns. And here the strategy we're going to follow is to stack an atom. So very similar to what you would do in a typical algebra class. But again, note even with these, there's going to be some weird tweak that's going to throw you off that you're going to think makes the problem impossible to do. But as it turns out, it's going to be very possible to do. So let's look at number 13 uh, from section 2009, from 2009, 2010, section two. And this one's a medium. So we're given these set of equations. And we want to know if the equations above are true, which the following is the value of y plus c. So two things. First, we look at this, we say, oh, I've got three variables and two, two, three unknowns and two equations. Wait a minute, that we can't do it. We need three equations and two unknowns. And, or sorry, three equations and three unknowns, right? Or at least three equations. Um, so it can't be done. Well, actually, you know, obviously it can be done. We have an answer here. But also notice that they're not looking for this thing, val the value of a single variable. They're looking for the value of y plus z. Whenever you see them looking for something weird like y plus z or whatever, you know, what you wouldn't expect, there's usually going to be a shortcut, and that is the case here. So let's look at these equations. We've got 3x plus 2y plus 2z equals 19, and 3x plus y plus z is equal to 14. So you might start one on rearranging, you know, doing some substitutions. You could do all those kinds of things. I'm sure there's other longer ways of doing it, but remember we want to find that 30 second solution. And notice I want to have y plus z left, so I'm going to stack them. And let me go ahead and subtract the bottom from the top. Notice what's going to happen. The 3x is going to cancel. 2y minus y is y. 2z minus z is z. 19 minus 14 is 5. There we go. y plus z is 5. That's it. All right. So notice we don't need to do pages of math for this one. There's literally, the computation is this. You subtract them, you get y plus z is 5, and you're done. It is not going to be this crazy long mess. And we can be tipped off by that, by the fact that they're looking for something weird, and it looks impossible. When you get those two together, it's going to be some relatively quick solution. Let's look at the next one. This one is very similar. In the system of equations above, what is the value of x plus y? Notice, again, three variables, uh, three unknowns, two equations. It's impossible. Well, no, it's not. Again, we want to find what x plus y is. So let's just go ahead, solve for it. Um, so we have x plus y is e plus 3z is equal to 600. And x plus y plus z is equal to uh, 400. Now here, I want to have x plus y. So I'm going to get rid of the z. So notice I'm going to have to do a little bit of what you might be used to in your math class here. I want to get rid of the 3z. So I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 3. So that's going to be uh, 3x times 3y times 3z is equal to 4 times uh, 4 times 400 times 3, which is 1200. And now I can go ahead and subtract the bottom from the top. So I want to get x minus 3x is negative 2x. Uh, y minus 3y is minus 2y. These cancel, which is good. And then we get negative 600. Well, notice now I want to just get x plus y, so I'll divide both sides by negative 2. And I get x plus y is equal to 300. And that's your answer. So you would go ahead and grid that in uh, into the, into the um, answer sheet. So there you go, two very similar problems. Uh, don't freak out. Find the shortcut. Find the 30-second solution. And it should all drop out from there.